Hey rainbows, we are back with another episode of the royal family. As you can tell by the intro of this episode, we will be going to see the new kingdom of Dakarai, and we will actually be doing that at the end of this episode, and I will explain everything that we saw in the intro then. But also in this episode, we are going to be having Alice May's birthday party. She's gonna age up into a teenager. We're going to see Frederick and Jessica. They're gonna go on kind of their first date. Frederick's going to be spending time with Jessica and her family, basically. And then we're also gonna have Aisha's birthday party, which means we're going to see a lot of our, not teens anymore, but like we're gonna get to see Corn Farm and Ari and Gabriel. We are also actually having the younger teens, like Alice May and her friends, they're gonna be at Aisha's birthday party too. So that would be pretty interesting. And then we are going to go see Adric, Zamora, and Naya all in Dakarai. And I will explain everything then. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So we are here at the Windenburg Palace because we're having having Alice May's birthday party. Jabari is actually staying at the Selva Dorada Palace with Zamora, his sister-in-law, and his nephews and niece. But he's basically there to help take care of Sissy and Elon while Adric and Zamora go to Dakarai with Nea. So they're actually, it's gonna take them a while to travel there. So they're gonna be traveling there while we are doing all this stuff before we go see them. So that means that Jabari is missing his daughter's birthday party. And he did tell Alice May that he will make sure to celebrate with her, like they'll have just a whole day together to celebrate her birthday when he gets back. Alice May was a little disappointed that her dad couldn't be there for her birthday party, but she understands. Alice May is like so empathetic and caring and she hates to see her dad so upset about his brother's death. Obviously her and Cedric and Amira were upset too. So we are gonna go ahead and confirm that Cayman did die from a heart attack. And also I want to clarify that Cayman is Jabari's brother because I think some people are still confused and think that Cayman is Jabari's dad. That is Jabari's brother. Adric and Elon and Sissy are Jabari's nephews and niece. Samora is his sister-in-law. So yeah, I just want to double confirm that. I think I've mentioned that before in a past episode. If you guys are ever confused about characters, again, there is a wiki fandom page that some people have been nice enough to contribute to and add all the information from the series. So that link is in the description below. So if you guys are ever confused about anything, you guys can check the characters on there. My friend Evie was nice enough to add all of the episodes and like what is in every episode. So that is also on the fandom wiki page. So just a big thank you to her and everyone who has contributed. I really appreciate it. Oh, but back to what I was saying about Alice May. So Alice May is just, she's very empathetic. She's very caring. She always wants to help people to the point where like it stresses her out sometimes. So she tried to be just as understanding as possible that her dad couldn't be there. She knows he needs to do what he needs to. But yeah, so we are just waiting for our guests to arrive. Most of them are here already. It looks like Kellen is here. Samaria and Bellatrix are back from their honeymoon. They were there for a few weeks. It looks like this is Samaria right here with Nani. Of course, like right before they left though, it was the whole thing that happened with King Cayman. So they had to like see that before they left on their honeymoon, but they had a great time. It's probably gonna be a while still before they have kids. Samaria like just turned into a young adult. So I think they are going to wait a little bit. They're probably gonna end up having a donor to have kids, but we'll get to that later. They still have some time. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. And then we have Evangeline here. We have Fallon. Fallon and Charles are gonna be here. I am actually going to have them dance. Let's go ahead and do that. We have Molly Grace here. So Molly Grace is going to be having like her big first dance recital suit. Oh my gosh, Alice May, she's so cute. I might actually go ahead and just have her blow out the candles already just so she can enjoy her birthday party as a teen like with the rest of her friends who are all teens. So I'm gonna put the birthday cake here with the candles. I can't believe she's already turning into a teenager, you guys, it's crazy to me. Okay. Alice May, she's gonna blow out the candles. I'm so excited for this. Oh, we have Shen here. That is Han's nephew, Ty's son. We have Abraham here. Oh, we have Jessica too. So we're gonna be seeing Jessica and Frederick in this episode. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I kind of figured like since she has just turned into a teenager, I wonder if like her first time hanging out with Frederick, I don't know, maybe Makai would wanna be there. So it's more just like Frederick's going to go to the beach with her family. It's actually just gonna be Makai and her sister Iolana because Makai and Lily, they just had their baby. So they have a newborn baby. It is a boy. His name is Kaikoa. So that's spelled K-A-I-K-O-A. -A -A. Him and Iolana are both mermaids actually too. So yeah, we're gonna get to see them for a little bit. But Alice May, why don't you go blow out the candles so then you can dance with your friends and stuff. I can't believe she's aging up into a teenager, you guys. All right, so she's now blowing out the candles. 
aging up into a teenager. I'm so excited for her. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So we, she's already a natural leader. I think just like uh, there's cheerful. There's also outgoing, which I think fits her really well. So why don't we, I gotta find that first. Okay. Yeah. Here's outgoing. So let's do that. And then for her aspiration, I guess, uh, I think not, it doesn't have to be leader of the pack, but maybe friend of the world. Keep as many friends as they can. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys, I have picked a few outfits for Alice May. I'll do like the full thing on the streams one day, but I just wanted to pick a few for this episode since we'll see her a few times. This is Alice May. I love her. She's so pretty. She has a really good mix of Jabari and Amira, I feel like. She's so, oh, she's so cute. I love her. I'm so excited for her. I'm going to have her call people to the mail to get some cake. So we actually won't be spending too much time here. This actually might be a little bit of a shorter episode, but we will be seeing all of the teens and everyone later at Aisha's birthday party. There wasn't too many people I invited here, but oh, we have Jessica and Alice May here. I'm excited for all of them, you guys. Oh, we have Nia here too. So she was invited to the birthday party. Amira invited her. Caspian's still at his dad's though. So he might be coming back in the next episode. And we have a William here, Kellen and Megan's son. He's here as well. And then Diane and Abraham too, their wedding will be soon. Evangeline's just like so excited for all of her kids. I mean, Bellatrix just got married. Charles is about to get married and Diane is about to get married too. She's just so happy. And then we have, of course, little Cedric. I don't know why, oh, he's feeling embarrassed. Cedric's a little bit shy. But Alice, oh, and he's sitting next to his sister. He just wanted to sit next to his sister. Alice May always tries to look out for Cedric as much as she can. She loves her little brother. She loves being a big sister so much. Oh, Amir's dress is going through the table. That's fine. Okay, well, yeah. And then we have Kaleo here. Cleo and Frederick, of course, they're good friends. But yeah, so that's actually all we're going to do at this birthday party. Next, we are going to go see Jessica and Frederick and Makai and Makai and Lily's new baby. So let's go ahead there. Okay, we are now at Makai, Lily and Jessica's house. Jessica actually just went to school, so she'll be back soon. And oh, actually, no, she's right there. Never mind. <laughs> she's supposed to be going to school. Let's see. Oh, she's done with school for the... Wait, I'm confused. Ah, uh, okay, well, maybe she's not going to school. It doesn't say she has to go. Interesting. Anyway, so this is Lily and Makai's son. This is Kaikoa. So I actually kept him as a newborn just because he was like just born, but he's super cute. I don't know if Lily and Jessica will have another kid. I'm still debating, but yeah, he's super cute. Jessica's super helpful with the babies. She loves being a big sister so, so much. But since Jessica doesn't have to go to school, maybe I'll just have him go to the beach now. So it's going to be Makai, Iolana, Jessica, and Frederick. Lily's gonna hang back with Kaikoa. But yeah, it'll just be like a fun little beach day for them. And then they will get to see each other later at Aisha's birthday party too. All right, so yes, we're gonna go ahead and have them go to the beach. It'll be just a fun little beach day with them. Makai can be like a little bit of a protective dad. He's a lot more laid back than like Chibari is, but I don't know how comfortable he is yet because like Jessica's like 14. So I don't know how comfortable he would be with like Frederick and Jessica just going out on their own on a date or something like that. But they'll get to see each other plenty of times. Okay, so here we are with them at the beach. So let's just have Jess, I mean, let's have them all swim together. They can all go swimming together. I'm sure at some point, Makai will give them a little space. Oh, can Iolana? She can't go, can she? Okay, well, Makai's gonna have to stay out here with Iolana. Um, but, let, oh, you can build a sand sculpture with your toddler. That's super cute. Okay, yeah, do that. And then Jessica and Frederick. Oh, I forgot. Oh, shoot. I forgot to change her bathing suit. That's fine. I picked a few other outfits for her. I haven't streamed yet since the last episode because I took a little break from streaming this week. So that's why we haven't like picked out all the teenagers full outfits yet. So we'll do that. I'm going to be streaming in a few days. So we'll do that. Oh, Frederick is dazed. Maybe he's just like in awe by Jessica. I don't know. <laughs> he's just so, he has such a big crush on her. Like they've both had pretty big crushes on each other. Um, Let's see. Why don't you guys, can you do anything else? A back float. Swim and chat here. Sure. But yeah, Jessica's very very adventurous. She's a little bit mischievous too. Frederick is a little bit more shy. He's not as open, but he really loves how adventurous and outgoing Jessica is. I'm going to have Jessica flirt with him. I mean, her dad's over there, so she can't see them. Okay, Jessica's flirting with Frederick now. Ah, I'm so excited for them. They've had crushes on each other for so long, but I mean, they usually hang out with their group of friends. They probably will mostly be hanging out with their group of friends for a while too, until they get like a little bit older and they'll see each other at a birthday party too. There's already a little bit of a romantic relationship going on, but yeah, they're like best friends. They've already been friends for years and they have crashes on each other. I think that's so cute. And I really don't think, because Frederick is the heir to the Brindleton Bay throne, I really don't think that his parents have any 
issues if he were to marry a commoner. It's kind of like a thing in the past now. Most of the kingdoms don't care as much. Like in the past, they cared a little bit more about them marrying a prince and or just like royalty or nobility. But especially with Frederick's family history, I mean, the whole kingdom got started because his grandfather wanted to marry a commoner. So if anyone doesn't care, it's going to be the Brindleton Bay kingdom. And his parents really love Jessica too. His little sister Molly Grace is friends with Jessica. So there's that. Okay, so Jessica and Frederick are hanging out by the bonfire together. Is snuggling by the bonfire something they can do? Can you sit here? Oh, no, 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 don't sit here together. That'll invite Makai to come and, and we don't really want to do that. Well, I guess flirt with him some more. I don't know if now would be the good time to like have their first kiss just because Jessica's dad is literally right here. Oh, this is Duke Reese. He's the Duke of Kinshing, by the way. We will get to meet him and his family later. Oh, and there's Kona. Kona's here. Okay, um, well, sir, you, this, th um, I'm just gonna have you go away. <laughs> Sorry, Reese. It's just like the family here and Duke Reese is here. But yeah, we'll meet them soon. And yeah, we have Kona here too. But yeah, I don't think now is the best time for them to have their first kiss just because Jessica's dad's right here. But maybe later, maybe at the club because technically there's not gonna be any, like the adults are gonna be Arya and Kimmy and Makana. So it's going to be Makana because Makana is Kaleo's brother and Kaleo and his friends are going. So Makana's kind of been put in charge along with Kimmy. So we are actually going to go there next. Why don't we just go ahead and go there? I think we've spent some time here. They're they're like spending a few hours together and then they're gonna get changed and go to the club together for Aisha's birthday. So yeah, we will just leave, oh, Leilana came over here too. But yeah, we'll just leave them here for now. Okay, we are now here at the Royal Club. So we have been here before. I believe it was episode, season two, episode 48, where a lot of crazy, fun stuff with the teens happened. So we are back. This is where Aisha is having her birthday party. We've got Aisha right here. She's talking, it looks like Minerva, Gabriel's little sister is out here and Juliet and Makana and then Arya and oh yeah, Arya and Kimmy are here at the bar. Takashi is here, Manuel is here. Manuel should probably go greet his girlfriend. So I'm gonna have him go talk to her. It looks like Aisha's headed inside now. Um, So yeah, Manuel, why don't you go embrace your girlfriend? And then we have Elena here and Lord William is here too. Oh, and then Kaleo is here. So yes, Makana, he was asked to keep an eye out on the little kiddos, like the younger teens. I know that Makana and Arya and them, they're not teens anymore. Sometimes I just feel like they still are. Like they were just such the iconic teen group, but they're not teens anymore. I mean, Arya and Gabriel, they will be getting married soon. I, oh, I'm trying to, I don't know if that's gonna be the next episode, probably the one after that. I I'm so sorry that it's taking so long to have like all the weddings and stuff. I'm trying to have them as much as possible. I just have to like age everyone up first, but we will just have like all the weddings and stuff soon and like all the babies soon too. But let's have everybody day. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna have Arya go talk to Gabriel, embrace him, talk to him. Nani's just getting down here. She's dancing, uh, ask risque question. And then, oh no, wait, Arya's, she, oh, she's feeling nauseous. Oh no. Oh, she had one drink. Are you kidding me? That's fine. It just gets very like sensitive to that, I guess. Like it'll show that the Sim is drunk and they've had one drink and you're like, mm, that's fine. Um, Makana's just hanging out here though. Maybe I should have him come talk to Kimmy, embrace him. Alice is here. I don't know. Corn boy should be here too. Where is he? Maybe he's just late. We got Molly Grace and Kaleo talking to. Where's Alice May? No, where is she? I might have to, oh, there she is. Yay, Alice May's here. <gasps> Frederick's here. And then yeah, Elena and Jessica is here. Corn boy, corn boy's here. It's just Manuel and Juliet talking outside here. That's so cute. Oh, you know what? They can slow dance. Slow dance with Prince Makana, yay. And then, so Frederick is here. I'm gonna add him to the family. Where's Jessica? I kind of want him to like work up the nerve to ask Jessica to slow dance. I kind of feel like maybe you should go get a pep talk from either William or Cleo. William's right here, so go talk to William. So he's gonna talk to William and say he's really nervous. Oh, Cleo, you should come hang out with everyone. Maybe Cleo, you should go here, talk to Frederick. Maybe Cleo would try to ask Alice May to slow dance. I wonder if he would work 
up the nerve to do that. I don't know. Oh, but Jessica's over there. Um, Jessica, come here. Okay, Jessica's talking to Frederick. Oh no, he's walking away. He got nervous. He got cold feet. No. Oh, they're sitting together at the- oh, Wait, okay, they're not getting drinks though. They're too young. Look at Aisha. She's just jamming by herself. She's like, I'm gonna dance. This is my birthday party. She's like getting down next to Corn Farm. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe you should come here and dance. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I added William, Lord William to the family and he's feeling flirty and he's talking to Lady Minerva, which is Gabriel's little sister. Gabriel's very overprotective though. So I don't know how well this is gonna go. I mean, he's already flirting with her. Frederick's not even, is he talking? Okay, him and him and Jessica are like doing their own dancing. Like, I feel like this is more them, but I do feel like he wants to work up the nerve to ask her to slow dance. He's just a little bit nervous and not quite there yet. We'll see what happens. Maybe they will later in the night. We'll be here for a little bit. Oh, Alice May, where are you going? Oh, she went to go talk to a random woman. That's how outgoing she is. She can literally talk to anybody. Oh, wait, William and Minerva, they went to go talk over. <gasps> wait, they have a little bit of a romantic relationship and they went to go talk here by themselves. That's really cute. I'm gonna, I mean like, so Minerva's a little bit older than William, but not that much older. Oh my gosh, they're really cute, you guys. <gasps> oh, um, I don't know how full, I feel like William, he's a little bit on the shy side too. Gabriel has not noticed yet that his sister is being flirted with or that his sister's flirting with someone. He has not seen it yet, but when he does, I feel like he's gonna get a little bit protective. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Frederick, you think you can ask Jessica to slow dance now? Let's see, romance and slow dance with Lady Jessica. Okay, he's asking her to slow dance now. You guys, they're adorable. I think that him being around Makai earlier did make him a little bit nervous, but now Makai's not here. I should probably have Aisha at least blow out the candles now. Oh, okay, there's a, oh, there's a table in here. All right, cool. So we are going to have Aisha blow out the candles and age up into a young adult. I can't believe all these kids are growing up. I still think of them as the teens, but they're not anymore. All right, Aisha is aging up into a young adult now and we can pick a new trait for her too. Okay, awesome. So. So she is self-absorbed and she's a snob. I'm also gonna give her the ambitious trait because she's very ambitious. She is very focused on her fashion line. She will actually probably be moving to San Myshudo soon. She might just like hang out at home for a little bit before she goes, at least until after Ari and Gabriel's wedding. Oh, we still have the couples. They're still dancing together, Frederick and J They're so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. They're adorable. Maybe they will have their first kiss here. And then we have Gabriel and Arya. They're still dancing. Ale oh, uh, well, that was weird. Elena and Takashi are kind of still dancing. Okay, so I am actually going to have Jessica and Frederick have their first kiss. Oh, can they not have their first kiss right now? Oh, maybe not. <gasps> maybe it's not the time. I don't know. Oh my gosh, who is in here? <gasps> Who's in here? Wait, oh no, wait, oh my God. <laughs> Um, so Ari and Gabriel are here. Who's in the closet? I honestly thought it was Ari and Gabriel that were in the closet. Who's in here? Not you. No, I have to go through every single one of these people just to see who's in. <gasps> oh, it's Cornelius and Alice. <laughs> And Kimmy and Makana are just sitting and talking out here. Um, and then Arya and Gabriel are in there. Okay, let me see if Frederick and Jessica can have their first kiss yet. Maybe they should go somewhere more private. Um, let's, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys can go, maybe just in here. I don't know, in the kitchen. This is kind of a weird space. Like they already have bed. Oh, okay, they're done. They already have bedrooms. They have like this one random private dance floor, which seems interesting to me. Oh, William and Minerva, they're slow dancing together. Oh, William asked her to slow dance. That's so cute. Okay, Frederick and Jessica, they're in here. Oh, their romantic relationship has gone up a lot. Should he ask her to be his girlfriend first? Is it too soon? I don't know. They've had crushes on each other for a while. Let, let's have him ask her to be his girlfriend. I'm kind of excited for this. Okay, Frederick is now asking Jessica to officially be his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys. I think it's so cute that they take a picture together after. Maybe he will kiss her now. Are they gonna have their first kiss? This is kind of a random place. It's like in the kitchen of a club. <laughs> or it's like the party room of a club. You know how some places they have like a birthday party room? I kind of feel like that's what this is, but like an adult version, <laughs> like a grown up version. Okay, they're having their first kiss now, you guys. <gasps> oh, I'm so, oh, 
They're so cute. Oh no, you guys. Wait, what the heck? Gabriel is yelling at Willie. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe he's just like, hey, watch it or something like that to him. Um, maybe Arya, you should go calm down your fiance. I almost said boyfriend, your fiance. Um, just go go talk to Gabriel. Cause I mean, Gabriel probably shouldn't have just gone up to him and and okay, okay, calm down. That's okay. You're fine. William's so baby. Like he's I feel bad. Gabriel's just really overprotective of his sister. I don't think he would have like stepped in and say something unless he felt really like if they were just talking and stuff I feel like it would have been fine but I mean Minerva's never had like a boyfriend before so maybe he was just kind of like thrown off by it I guess okay but Arya is gonna go talk to Gabriel calm him down oh Alisme and, and Galeo Alisme and Galeo they're talking back here oh there's a okay so there's a little bit of a romantic relationship I think the crush is mostly like I think the romantic relationship it's just mostly a crush like Kaleo has a crush on Alice May. Alice May really only sees Kaleo as a friend. She's known him since they were really little, so she's kind of friend zoned him. So yeah, I mean, okay, I think that was mostly everything that needed to happen here. We have Jessica and Frederick officially being boyfriend and girlfriend. They had their first kiss. We have uh. Oh, wait, oh, whoa. Kimmy and Makana are just swimming together. And then this rando guy was in here too. But Kimmy and Makana are just swimming together. That's so cute. Okay, but we are now going to go see Nea, Adric, and Zamora in this new world. So let's, yeah, we'll, we'll let the teens, they'll party a little bit more. It's getting late. They should probably go home soon, especially like the younger ones. Yeah, we'll leave them here for now and we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, so we are now here in Dakarai and we are here with Samora, Nea, and Adric. So what had happened that you guys saw in the intro, so Nea, she has been the one who's kind of been overseeing the whole thing with Strangerville when Bellatrix came to it and helped saved it from the mother plant. There was just like this whole mysterious stuff going on. There was like a mysterious fog covering a bunch of stuff and then everyone had to evacuate and then obviously there was the whole possessed people thing going on. So what she had found out, they had uncovered some like documents and just been doing a bunch of research and digging to find out what Strangerville was like many, many years ago. And what she had discovered is that it's like Cayman's mother's great, great uncle was the king of Dakarai and then they had to evacuate and all of their relatives, like just the line of succession, everyone before, well, before Cayman technically, they had all died. And then of course, King Cayman died in the last episode. So Cayman would have been king, but now Adric, since his father has passed away, Adric is the rightful heir to the Dakarai throne or the rightful king to the Dakarai throne. So Adric and Zamora, they're just shocked. They're still trying to recover from Cayman's death. They're still dealing with that. That only happened a few weeks ago. And then his mother told him that he had to make Desta choose between her career and Adric, like becoming the queen of Salvadorada. And then Nea comes in and gives them this information about him being the rightful king for this lost kingdom. So his head is just spinning. He has no idea what's happening. This is all just like hitting him like a ton of bricks. Even Zamora is like completely shocked. She's like, wait, what? But Nea has been getting people to just help with things and help rebuild stuff as well. Up here used to be where the palace was. So all these lots here, they've like cleared it out. Like these ruins were where the old palace was. So that's going to have to be rebuilt. There's like the city down in the center there. So that's pretty much been rebuilt, but it's more like the outskirts of Dakarai that's being built right now. So I will show that to you guys once that has been taken care of. Once the city has been built, there's a lot that they're going to need to work on. So Zamora is talking to Nea. Like Nea is being super, I mean, Nea is able to relate to Zamora. Obviously she lost her husband. Of course, hers was a lot more shocking, but she understands how Zamora feels. Zamora is still really heartbroken right now. Oh, also I gave Adric new hair. I realized that he looks great with long hair. This is actually the style I had given to Nia, Caspian's mom, but I am gonna be changing her hair and I might try to find something better for Adric if I can, but I like the long hair on him. It looks good. Anyway, sorry, that was really random. I was just like, oh, by the way, but I think Zamora is telling them and thinking that they will help Nea with 
the rebuilding of Dakarai. They really appreciate Nea's help. I think Nea's offering to help as much as she can because she knows that this is all a lot of information and they're already going through a lot. I think it's going to take them some time to figure out exactly what to do, but I think what might end up happening is that Adric, so he will be the king of both Selvadorada and Dakarai because as you guys know, Selvadorada is a destination world and I've already kind of had issues with it being buggy with the mod and stuff. Oh, and if you are confused, this is the trip to Egypt mod. I forgot to mention that. I did a mod review on it, so I will link that video in the description below. It's the trip to Egypt mod by Nando. So that's what's remade Strangerville and turned it into Dakarai. But yeah, I think that Adric, so he'll be the king here. And once we have everything built, he will actually be living here. And then maybe he'll put his brother in charge, Elon, to oversee more of Selva Dorada. And then that way we can have like nobles of Selva Dorada and then nobles of Dakarai, but then one king for both. So it'll be a process. They'll have to figure this stuff out. Adric still has to talk to Desta too. So I think Adric is really nervous about that. He hates that he has to give Desta like this choice, but this is just gonna be a whole process for them. Desta has been very supportive since Cayman died. She's been very supportive to Adric. She's trying to be there for the family as much as she can. Natalia too, Elon's girlfriend. She's been very supportive. Sissy is so, I mean, she misses her dad so much. People were saying, oh, maybe now that Cayman's dead, that Zara would come back and try to get Sissy, but they made her sign something to where she can't do that. And that doesn't change even after Cayman has passed away. So Izara is not allowed to try to contact Sissy. Of course, they have help from Jabari right now. Jabari is at the Salvadorada Palace and helping them and supporting them. I do also have to thank Zilla for this idea. Zilla was the one who gave me this idea in our patron discord. She came up with the whole idea of Adric finding out that he is the rightful king of Dakarai. So thank you so much, Zilla. I think this was actually like the best way to go for this. But I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know what you guys think of this new information of the new kingdom of Adric becoming the rightful king of Dakarai. Let me know what you guys think of all of the stuff that happened with the teens. Let me know what you guys think of Alice May being a teenager now. And then with Jessica and Frederick and everyone else, there's so much that happened in this episode. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.